Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabble YouTube channel, and I'm coming to you today with a little nugget of knowledge, a little quick tip. I'm going to try to do a lot more of these, um, maybe I can get some more content out to you guys if I'm doing some, you know, quick tips and things like that, as well as some, you know, longer, more in-depth tutorials. And so today I'm going to be taking a look at Atom Piano Roll. It's a new app. You may or may not have heard of it, but it's an AUV3 Piano Roll MIDI editor, and it is fantastic and so let's uh, let's dive into the iPad and try to keep this under five minutes all right so we're into the iPad I have Atom piano roll pulled up inside of AUM in channel one I just pulled up a basic patch in Xeon it's not a, it's just the default patch and so it sounds just like that um, and so I have it listening to Atom piano roll and then I have Adam listening to my Arturia MK2 MIDI controller. And what I'm going to be talking about is the step input. Now I requested this. I'm sure probably other people did as well. But it's just a fantastic ability to just throw some notes in a little sequencer and loop them. And it's just awesome. What does it do? Whenever you click step input and you have a MIDI source like I have my Arturia MIDI Lab MK2, whatever I play, it's going to record a note individually or multiple notes, you could do chords, based on the grid. Now I have the grid set to eighth notes, but you could do 16th, 32 quarter notes, you can do bar if you want to just you know play some chords and just chord in a four bar loop with just chords. So much easier than trying to type out if you can play a keyboard, it's so much easier to to do that and which is why I absolutely love this feature you can do triplets it can't do dotted notes but you know maybe that's something that could be added in later and so I have eighth notes grids on so I just hit you just hit step input and it'll listen to the MIDI steps and so we can go I think we're to the back and so if I just wanted to play a little a little sequence here let's see And you notice that it also reflects the velocity that you do. And to get to the velocity, there's this little button down here that you can do with the velocity. And so now we can just play this. You know, not the best, and it's kind of maybe ear sore, but you know, that's just it was it was literally that simple to get that in. And say we wanted to do something. Let's do a chord, maybe a pad, classic brass pad. All right, so let's just um, zoom out, select all those and delete. And now let's just change this to, let's just drag this out to four bars. Let's tap the grid to a bar. Okay, so each bar, I'm just gonna play in some chords here. That, and then I can play see how simple that was and up and they're on the grid now you can move them around if you want to but with you know some chords and drum loops and things like that it's just awesome to just be able to step into it and you know throw the four chords down and now from from here you know you can just loop it and do all sorts of wonderful thing I just love this step input it's awesome and so hopefully this right here will inspire you I know it definitely inspires me uh, let's uh, pull up this little file here first Atom Jam now this is the first time I bought it and I opened it up I got a couple instances of a lot of different apps going on along with some guitar parts oops and use an NCO but and all this was done I just recorded it all in with the steps and it's just awesome I love it, it just makes things so easy to, to do and I recorded these drums in I recorded these in live 
which was also fun. And I can also do a quick tip on that as well. So hopefully this was helpful and useful. And I will uh, talk to you guys later. Remember all the applicable links are in the description below. And uh, have a good day.